guys, how's it going? Um, I'm back with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Um, still kind of sick, but much less dead than in the demos best of thingy. So, um, without further ado, first up we have something I really like by Destructor, not to be confused with the American Destructor. Big part of the Australian kind of black death thrash scene. Um, Really aggressive, exactly what you'd expect from that scene with bands, you know, like Destroy 666, Nocturnal Graves, um, and shit, my brain has gone blank. Um, I'm still not kind of with it um, due to this fucking illness. But anyway, if you like Australian extreme metal, check out Destructor, because they're fucking awesome. This is on Hell's Headbangers. Next up, a couple uh, tapes. So first up, we have Mephitic Corpse. If you can see it, there we go, sorry, uh, it's very overexposed lighting, um, this is the extremely rotten version, of course, it's in Europe, that's the best, let me refocus this, to get from, it's better to get it from extremely rotten, because they're only in Denmark, it's quite near, really cool, kind of slightly grindy death metal, really swampy riffs, horrible sounds, exactly the kind of stuff you'd expect from a band with a name like Mephitic Corpse, I think it's really cool. Picks up that tape and the next one actually, a Crypt of the Wizard Records in the UK, uh, in London. It's a really cool place. I really liked it there. Next up is some classic heavy metal with a split of Hemisferio and Acidio, both from Chile. Kind of cheesy, over the top, late 70s, early 80s feeling heavy metal. I really love this kind of stuff and I think these bands both do an excellent job of conveying that like old school feel kind of thing you listen to and you can kind of envision yourself on a mountain with a sword and stuff, you know. So if you like classic heavy metal, check out both of these bands. Sort of a double recommendation. Next up from Norway, uh, great guys, Filth Digger. This is their latest EP on Cavernous Records. Who actually um, put out the Hemisphere one? Rush of Power Records, the Hemisphere and Asadio split. Filth Digger play kind of slightly Swedish tinged but overall more there's a lot of the American sound as well in their death metal it's really kind of gruesome old school I mean the artwork and color scheme of this to me is just perfection for a death metal EP really love this band they're just filthy aggressive punishing death metal so if that doesn't appeal to you I'm not entirely sure what will next up for some war metal we have Wergo um I'm not sure if I can show that, because boobies apparently offend people these days, so pretend you didn't see that, you heard it here first. Um, Wego, really fucking killer uh, band there. They've got members from such bands as Ascended Dead, I believe, um, the frontman from Ritual Necromancy plays with these guys, and the guitarist is now the guitarist in Black Witchery. So that's a fun fact, I guess, but you know, if you like those kinds of Bands like Black Witchery, Blasphemy, and more recently stuff like uh, The Black Sorcery, which I recommended. Definitely check out Wergo. This album is killer. And staying on theme with War Metal, featuring Jay Reed, of course, and um, Ryan Forster. Death Worship, Nuclear War Now, Ross Bacol, Pure War Metal. If you like Revenge, Conqueror, Blasphemy, then this literally features members of uh, those bands. Um... It was an honour, actually, to shake hands with and meet uh, Mr. Forster as well. Foster. I always get those two surnames mixed up. Um, but yeah, Ryan. Anyway, um, when Blasphemy came over, he was the only one I actually got a chance to properly talk to for the best part of 10 seconds anyway. Cool guy. And this is just great, pure aggression, unadulted hatred. And that's exactly the kind of thing I like to listen to. Next up, some LPs, um, first of which is Coffin Rot, their new album, A Monument to the Dead, on Blood Harvest Records, and yes, of course, I keep the Obi Strip, because I think those are uh, really kind of badass edition, I really like that about Blood Harvest releases, actually. This is just killer, old school, murky death metal, no kind of pretense, just thudding, cool riffs, great musicians, and a killer record. It really just delivers that kind of 80s and early 90s death metal feel. I really like this, um, and I'm glad to see a lot more people talking about it than when it first dropped, because I think it's a really killer record. And next for some more war metal, 
um, Antichrist Siege Machine. This came out on Stygian Blackhand and the CD was Cruciator. This is really fucking aggressive, harsh, and actually really... It's got this weird atmosphere that I kind of like. It's got the very... Um, I don't know how to describe it. I guess just listen to it, but it's really killer Black and Death anyway. So if you like the other stuff, especially like... Um, well, the stuff I've been mentioning, then Antichrist Each Machine is probably for you. It's a really cool release, and one that's sadly, I think, been very overlooked this year. Um, but I definitely rate it pretty highly, as you will know if you watched my best of 2019. I forgot what fucking year it is then. Now, a slightly older war metal release from a couple years back, Blood Chalice from Finland. This is on Helter Skelter Productions. Um, it's very finish you know it's incredibly aggressive but at the same time it has just amazing proficiency with the instruments although they don't let that kind of get in the way of the primitive feel i guess it's really killer i think quite a unique band as well um of the poster there i don't move my la um phone and laptop and stuff because the camera lighting will just go to shit but um it's very cool uh if you like really aggressive black metal definitely listen to blood chalice they're fucking crazy and the guys are all, you know, black metal power lifters. Um, and finally, something, I guess, in the more uh, accessible feel of black metal is Panopticon from Kentucky with their... I guess they're probably quite a bit bigger than the bands on this list, but I still think they're not a band I get. I would consider, like, kind of commercial or um, at least a band that you don't see on the shelves of whatever chain shops you have in your country i guess in america like walmart this unlikely i think you'll see panopticon i know um it's rare you'll see them in the uk and stuff like hmv and stuff at least where i live uh, and same with norway you never really see them in uh platt and stuff like that although that's a quite good record shop for getting in smaller stuff for norwegian followers you probably be able to back that up or anyone visiting norway um, but yeah, Panopticon's really cool, it's like sort of bluegrassy, folky, tinged black metal, incredibly atmospheric, yes, like the equivalent, I guess, of if you listen to stuff like Saar, but from the US perspective, it's um, really cool stuff, I really like it, so yeah, check out Panopticon for, I guess, something a bit more light-hearted for the list, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay metal.